Hey folks, it's that time again when I talk about what I got in the mail. And I've got a bunch of really cool stuff to talk to you about this month, including the My Aquarium box, of course, uh, the H2O Plants Plant Pack. I've got another aquarium to show you and some other stuff. It's all coming up right after this. Hey YouTube, this is Pack Tech. And for the past couple of months, I've been doing this thing. I, I tend to order a lot of stuff through Amazon and I like to show you guys exactly uh, what I'm getting. It kind of, sometimes it's a hint towards a future project. Sometimes I get something just to check it out. And we've got a number of different and varied products. And of course, I've got my monthly subscription boxes, which I, I like to open for you guys anyway. Uh, I thought this would be kind of a cool way to tie into the My Aquarium Box videos and that sort of thing. Just to show you a, a wide variety of products every month that are available and stuff I'm kind of interested in. Uh, let's start off, of course, with this month's My Aquarium Box. And of course, as you know, every month uh, I try to open this with a new implement of destruction. I try to pick out something unique, something a little different, and this month I've picked Communist Propaganda. That's right, my father brought this back from Russia. They went to Russia on a trip and they brought me back some interesting buttons and stuff, and I think that this will be perfect to open up a box with, so why not? I've used just about every sharp object in my house already. And I'm getting down to uh, the nitty gritty, folks. <clears throat> All right, communist propaganda for the June My Aquarium Box opening. And let's take a look inside. Okay. Okay, so here's the scorecard for the month. And this, of course, lists all the stuff that you get in the My Aquarium box and the values. And, of course, at the bottom are all the sponsors that make this box possible. And right here on top, we also have this little card that explains that you can win a My Aquarium box off Facebook. You can win a mega box by shooting a video like this one or, of course, a much simpler video if you want. And let's see, what else do we have here? We have... Looks like a coupon for some beneficial fish food, is that right? Yeah. This stuff works pretty good. I found that I got a mix and I've actually got a video where Kerrigan and I are mixing it together. We didn't get the recipe quite right, uh, but I have tried it again since then. I recommend it if you've got a lot of small fish. It does tend to be a little particulate, is what I've found. And, uh, but if you've got a ton, like a tank with a ton of small fish in it, it could be pretty good. Uh, what do we have here? GFCI 5 outlet adapter. Okay, I've never seen this before. Um, available on Amazon. Ground fault circuit interrupter. Okay, so this is like a GFI outlet, like you keep in, um, like you would put in your in your kitchen. Like all kitchens, I think, if they, in the in the U.S. anyway, uh, kitchens have to have a GFI outlet inside oh and it looks like oh it looks like we actually have one all right so it's a little gf jeffi outlet adapter this will keep uh you from tripping a circuit uh, to tell you the truth i'm not super up on my electrical uh knowledge and prowess but i imagine this will be a great safety mechanism pretty interesting okay i'm gonna have to read more about this but that's a uh, that's different <laughs> That's a lot different than the stuff we usually get in the My Aquarium box. Really interesting. Cool find there. Uh, ooh, we got a nice little coaster. Nice little neoprene coaster. That's actually pretty cool. That'll come in handy. And we've got a bag of spor spor <laughs> spirilla. 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 We've got a bag of fish food. Nice tasty treat for my fishes. What else we got here? We have a My Aquarium Box branded bag of, uh, what are they? Pumice stone filter media. When I first got started uh, keeping fish and stuff, I thought that you got some uh, the filter media like the, this stuff that holds the biological stuff, I thought you never replaced it. 
And in some ways that's true, like you don't have to replace it. You certainly don't replace it all the time. You replace it much more rarely than you would like the other kinds of media you keep, but you should eventually replace it because what happens is the, the, the pores get all clogged up with uh, different debris and, and stuff like that. So they're not holding the bacteria. The, the places, what's great about this stuff is it's porous, okay? So the bacteria has a lot of places to live, but when that starts to get clogged up, uh, you can reclaim it. There are ways to reclaim that, you know, to clean it out. But what's just about as easy to do is just to replace it with fresh media. And uh, a bag like this is really handy for that, especially when combined with this next item, which is a little nylon bag. These little nylon bags are handy for a lot of things. I actually use these quite a lot to, uh, to put over my intakes for filters so that shrimp and stuff like that don't end up in my canister filters. I use it a lot for that. But they're super handy for keeping stuff like this and other kinds of uh, types of media and stuff that maybe you have. Uh, these are really handy. Handy, handy. And it looks like one more thing in here. We've got an algae scraper. This is by Sarah. I haven't seen Sarah's version of this yet. So, and they're, But they're always handy to have a little magnetic algae scraper to keep you from having to dig your hands into the tank. All right, and that's the June My Aquarium Box. Now let's get into some of the Amazon finds. Now, there's nothing that you probably, that's gonna set the world on fire inside of these Amazon finds, but there are some kind of cool stuff that I dug around and found and uh, I wanted to just share with you guys, okay? Uh, the first thing is, and this is especially handy for new fish keepers, is the specimen container. I love specimen containers. <laughs> they're, they are fantastic little handy tools. Uh, they're just a little plastic box, but you can keep, especially with your aquarium, they come in different sizes. This is, uh, I guess this is probably one of the smaller ones, okay? And it's got a nice little hook, fits perfectly on the side of most, uh, most aquariums. If you've got a fish, that uh, you've got to move from one tank to another. Uh, you can fill this up and then just like the fish store, you can fill this up, get your fish in there, take them to the new tank, acclimate them. I like to stick it inside the tank sometimes and let the temperature acclimate or maybe drip some of the water directly into there and then close the lid and like just let it seal it in on top. This is great for trimming plants. When you're pulling plants out and stuff, you just need somewhere to dump it. Uh, this is just the perfect little thing that you keep you never run through the dishwasher, you just keep it nice and aquarium safe and a uh, nice little handy tool that really doesn't cost very much. Uh, really the benefit you get versus the cost is, is great. And I highly recommend at least getting the small one. This makes like the fourth one that I have. I literally, I like to have them in and around all the tanks. I, I, these are just super handy. Specimen container from Lee's. This next thing is kind of a weird, th kind of a weird little item. Okay, um, I don't generally buy aquarium ornaments. Okay, but this seemed like it would have sort of an interesting alternate function. Okay, and what it is is it's just this little shape here. See it? And uh, what you can do with this though is you can use it to sort of partition off, <laughs> partition off a part of your aquarium. And then add, um, you know, add extra substrate in here. So, uh, as you know, like with most aquascapes, what people would have you do is they want you to do that nice, gentle slope that goes up towards the back. But what happens every single time is over time that slope gently goes back down. You're like it might start off perfect, but eventually what's going to happen is that slope's going to work its way back down. So you can use this as sort of a retaining wall to make sure that that substrate stays back the way you want and give yourself a neck, nice maybe inch, inch and a half or so uh, for more rooting material for your substrate. I saw this and I, I like the natural or s sort of natural color to it. It's not, it's, not it's not something obnoxious, it's you know, brown and black, you know, so that will, will definitely blend in with most of my aquascapes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep this aside and uh, this will come out in a future aquascape. Okay, this next thing I almost didn't mention, but I, I get asked about it all the time. Uh, whenever I do, 
whenever I do a little custom aquarium setup, like I did a, a corner filter with this, uh, the Steampunk Aquarium uses something very similar to this. Uh, I've used this in the sump here to bring to bring water from uh, the main sump over to the extra chamber in the back. It's just a tiny, tiny little water pump. This is super cheap. I bought probably five or six of them and used them for different types of projects. They're really handy to have. Uh, there's a lot of different uses for little pumps like this from uh, emptying out a bucket of water, <laughs> which I've used to do that before too. Or just running a small tank or a small filter or trying to do a water feature or something a little extra inside your tank. Maybe you've already got a pump and stuff but you wanted to make a waterfall or something like that. This little thing's very handy. So this is just a real handy little tool. Good for a lot of different little options. Uh, it's simple, it's cheap, and it's handy for little projects. So if you've got something that you need a little pump for, this is one I've bought several times. One thing I don't talk a lot about are heaters. And that's because heaters are pretty basic overall. Uh, but I did find this, which seemed like a pretty good deal. I guess we'll see eventually, right? But it's a 300 watt heater. And it was not, not very expensive at all. It came, of course, with suction cups, like just about every heater comes with, you know, little suction cups to help attach it. There's this big sort of titanium metal rod here. It's got a little external switch. It just says set on it. Not a lot of options so far. I'm going to have to play with this and kind of see how I like it. But I was looking for maybe a, a replacement heater for my 55 upstairs. I wanted it to get a little bit warmer. 300 watts is kind of a lot for a 55 gallon tank. So uh, I'll probably experiment with this a little bit and just kind of see see how it does. It was, it was a lot cheaper than I expected. And hopefully performs a little bit better than the price might indicate. <laughs> Although I'm a little skeptical though, just looking at this funky little thing that it's got set here. Does it have instructions? Okay. Let's see. How to set the temperature. Press the set button to start the temperature setting. The LED display will start and flash. Continue pressing the set button. The number in the LED screen will circulate from 68 to 94 degrees. Once you have found your desired temperature, please stop pressing. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> I'll take this and play with it. Just expect a report back. Expect a comprehensive review on this thing later on. So last but not least, we've got this thing right here. It's the water garden, back to the roots. It's a little aquaponic beta tank or a little small three gallon tank with an aquaponic feature on the top. I tend to be highly skeptical of these types of aquariums, but this one seemed to be a little bit sturdier than most of the other ones. Um, I first discovered, or when I started to make the steampunk aquarium, I looked around for stuff that had, that was already around, around that was doing kind of the same thing. And that is bringing water up to the plants, and then letting it circulate through and going back down. Now this setup is a little bit different than a lot of the ones I saw, and what you'll notice is that it comes it comes with little starter kits. Is that right? The seeds and stuff to start your plants. So it actually comes with all the stuff you need, supposedly, to start growing plants in the top of an aquarium. I'll do a full unboxing and setup for this tank. Um, either next week or the week after that. I've got a little plan for this tank. I just want to try it out and really see how it does. There are all kinds of advertisements that I find misleading for the most part on tanks like this. Um, what does it say? Self-cleaning fish tank that grows food. That may be true to one degree or another, but I, I don't think that there's any tank, even these aquaponic tanks that are truly self-cleaning. There's gonna be some, um, there's gonna be some work you need to do. And I really don't want anyone to be deceived into thinking that 
you can simply set one of these up, throw a fish in it, and uh, not have to do water changes or any of the other stuff that you have to do with the regular aquariums, especially in one this small. I will say my initial impression though is that it seems to be pretty well made. I like, I like the way the components are. Pretty easy to get this out if you wanted to clean and do something inside. Uh, the glass is, or it's plastic, but it's pretty thick. Doesn't seem like a bad little tank at all, especially if you're limited on space. But we're going to set this up. I've got a light. I, I contemplated maybe blacking out the back of this and putting it into a window. But I've got another idea. I've got this stand that I haven't used. Uh, I bought it for a project, but I haven't ever really used it. So I'm going to have a stand that goes over this and has a light that comes down. And then as the plants grow, I'll, I'll raise it up higher and higher. That'll be the plan anyway. But be sure to subscribe and tune in if you'd like to see this tank all the way set up because it will be happening very soon. And last but not least, I got the H2O plant pack, uh, which I actually opened about a week ago. Right after it came, I like to open those right as soon as they come in to make sure I can get them all planted. Let's take a look inside that. Another great plant pack from Justin and Ace Joe of Plants. Uh, they have a really terrific value. You should really peruse their website. Uh, if you don't like getting random plants in the mail, that's fine. They have all kinds of other stuff. Uh, I know I personally would like to put a big buse order in. I have not figured out the perfect way to grow buse plants. And uh, that is definitely a project that I've had going this year. I've been doing some reading. I'm going to do a little bit more research. And uh, I think that that's going to be sort of the focus of the Fluval Flex tank when I finally put it back together. So that's another thing we have to look forward to later on down the road. So if you'd like to see any of the things that I've talked about today, I've got a link down in the description and it's a link to my Amazon store. It's basically a list. I'll add notes and stuff on things, but it's a list of all the things that appear in my program. Uh, they are affiliate links, so if you shop there, it does help the show. Don't care if you buy anything or not, but if you're interested, if you want more information, be sure to check out that list. And of course, you can always ask me if you've got a question about any particular product. That's all I've got for now. Until next time, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So, so I know I'll definitely be placing my order for that before. Uh, I, I think I'd like to put up together. Let me up there. Yeah. But be sure to. Uh, and last but not least, we've got the H2O plant pack. Let's take a look at what I got inside. Okay. And last but not least, I got the H2O plants pack.
Hey folks, it's that time again where I talk about what I got in the mail. I bought a... Got... 